Hello and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, Dave Madden. Today's date is Friday the 15th of June 2018 and the time has just gone 12.50 British Summer Time. This week's Chart of the Week is the DAX or the Germany 30 as we call it on our platform. At the German market, uh, along with other euros and equities, got a major boost yesterday on the back of the much dovish than, ex dovish than expected update from Mario Draghi of the European Central Bank. Mr Draghi pointed, uh, pointed out that the, the ECB's bond buying scheme will wind down in 2018, as expected, but we're not going to have a rate rise from the, of the European Central Bank until at least the back end of 2019, if we have one at all next year. And the result was that we saw a major sell-off in, in, in the euro, and in turn, we also saw a, a decent push higher in eurozone equities. So this, this, up, this candle here is the positive move on the, the, the DAX yesterday. As you can see, in today's session, we've given a small, small bit of, of the ground back, but the upward trend that has been in place since mid-March is very much still in place. As you can see here, the, the high yesterday didn't quite get as high as the... This didn't quite get as high as the May high, but we're not too far away from it. Uh, if you look at the upper trend here, it's been a classic case of higher highs and higher lows. You could be looking at, at, at taking out the, the May high and creating a new higher high. If you, if you take a look at the MACD indicator, MACD histogram, you can see that momentum was in a negative, negative territory, but someone who swung into positive territory. So the push higher in, in the price has been confirmed by the increase in positive momentum. So the, the, at the moment, the momentum is with the buyers. If you do manage to take out the uh, 13,200 region, the next area to keep an eye out for to the upside could be 13,400. Uh, notice how we did have a bit of consolidation uh, in that area at the beginning of the year. And if we go beyond that, we could be looking towards retesting the all-time high of 13,600. Um, moves to the downside, may find some support. We could find some, some support coming to play in around 12,900. Notice how it, it managed to act as a, a resistance on a couple of occasions in the last week or two. And south of that, we may find some support coming to play at this red line here, the Trinity Moving Average, which comes into play at 12,772. Also, we can see, you can see a, a bit of a, uh, a crossing over of some of the moving averages. The yellow line here, the one of the moving average coming to play at 12,589. And also the blue line here, the the 50-day moving average coming to play um, at 12,740. Notice how all the, this area entire here, uh, we have seen the, the, the moving averages act as both support and resistance. So these areas here could possibly act as, as support uh, in, in, the, in the near term. Should we see a move to the downside? If you take out the, the late May low of, uh, of uh, 12,554, then that's what we could be looking at, reach, at heading back down towards 12,311. A level not seen since the middle, the middle of April. And if we go south of that, we could be looking at heading down towards 12,000. Well, that's all for me this week. Thank you very much.